welcome to this edition of the SA Crypto Market Analysis with myself, James Preston. And myself, Graham Tennant. Not only is he, good, he a good trader, he's also a good cricketer. Just have a look at this. I was bowling, he was batting. Great shots. How about that for an on drive? Straight back past the bowler. Remarkable. It was uh, a birthday invitational that I had on Sunday and Graham here decides to just... It was a great day. Give Enjoy me facing a, the, the birthday boy. Give me a lesson <laughs> in straight bat cricket. Anyway, this edition is proudly sponsored by Altcoin Trader. Altcoin Trader offer you 23 different digital tokens. 21 of them are cryptocurrencies from Bitcoin right the way through to uh, BitTorrent. And then you can also get digital versions of real gold and real silver backed by altcoin traders supplies uh, they offer it all in south african rands check them out the link is in the youtube and the podcast description and uh, you can get trading this week within a couple of hours you should be set up altcointrader.co.za now graham this is a very interesting time we've got a nice uh, longer episode today yeah i'm excited for this one James. because there's so many charts to get through and um that's primarily because it looks like the alts are starting to bubble yep absolutely so let's start with bitcoin first cool. Um, a little bit of consolidation period at the moment. I mean, we're right down. That's a bit of a while we've even been recording here and setting up. We're down to nine one six seven dollars. That's interesting. Yeah. So look, I mean, not too much has changed since we covered Bitcoin last week, which is why I'm keen to cover quite a few of the alts. We've we've broken out of this bearish uh, trend structure. Uh, we. We're still flirting with that uh, 10,000 level, but it looks like we're rolling over a little bit, running a little bit of steam. So I think um, sideways is probably your best bet over the next uh, days to a couple of weeks for, for Bitcoin, I would think. And that you know, creates the right conditions for the old coins to start to make some moves. And what's really interesting for you is the Bitcoin dominance chart, Absolutely. right? So yep. that is the key to really understanding that the alts are set to go because of what you're seeing here. So this is the Bitcoin dominance at the moment. It's sitting at 67, almost 67%, 66.6% yep. of the uh, cryptocurrency market cap is Bitcoin. So 34% of it is all the other coins, the altcoins. Just explain this chart yes. to us. So, I mean, during the course of last year, we moved to really high levels on the Bitcoin dominance chart, all the way up to 73% of the whole market cap was all in Bitcoin. Um, and we start to see this, this trend start to reverse. So we've got these rounding type of uh, top patterns. We had um, a squeezing in volatility of which we've, we've, we've clearly broken to the downside. We're now testing the support level denoted by this blue box. And we really are holding for, on for dear life here at the moment. And I think that's a matter of time until we break through that support. And that'll see altcoins take significant, well, but yeah, potentially significant uh, uh, market cap away from Bitcoin as a whole. So this is one chart which is really handy because you can, you can um, pull up this chart. You don't have to open up hundreds of, of altcoin charts to get a really good idea about what's happening in the altcoin market in general. And if this, if this chart is looking uh, bearish for Bitcoin dominance, you can then start to go and have a look at uh, some of your alts. So let's do that. Um, yep. You are you're seeing this chart uh, signify that we can look at some of the alts. The first one you're going to take us through is Icon, ICX. Yes. That seemed to have started things off a bit for us. Yes. Um, just take us through what you're seeing on this chart and why you'd probably stay away from it now. Sure. So this is the one that's kind of still in the headlines of the last couple of days. Uh, it's too late to jump in uh, into RCX now because the, the, the horse is bolted. Uh, we don't want to buy these big green candles because you always have the risk of, um, of it pulling back significantly. And we want to obviously see if we can catch uh, some of the old coins before this type of, of thing happens. So um, I wanted to use this one up front because this is the type of structure that we're going to see over and over again in a number of the different old coins, but, um, but they're at the stage before they've, they've, they've taken off. And, the, and obviously that's where we want to get in before the real rocket ship uh, leaves the station uh, because that's when you get your really um, good uh, returns on, 
on, on your positions? So we had a question on the Telegram group, Ethereum. Yes. Um, its token is ETH. Just a quick note, uh, it's important for people to understand. Ethereum is a platform, they, their token is uh, Ether, right, or ETH. Uh, ETH. So it's just interesting to note. I mean, obviously, we think the Ethereum, Ethereum is the token, but technically there is a differentiation. So if you ever hear me talk about Ether versus Ethereum, it's it's all part of the same project. But I just thought I'd make mention of that. But we did have someone ask, mm. um, if should they uh, buy, sell, or hold? What do you reckon? Yeah. So Ethereum, along with most of the other alts, is looking pretty good. Um, we've broken out of this uh, de big descending wedge. We've got higher lows and we're looking to push past this previous high point here. Um, I think there are other better options if you're looking to buy right now, but if you are holding ETH for the longer term, I, d you know, I think I definitely look to still hold it because I think that you are going to get some movement um, if we can push past this uh, current resistance that we're running into. Okay, XRP, a big one in South Africa. Obviously, we are at um, uh, an XRP meetup with Zago yeah, tomorrow to night that. in Durban. Um, so that's quite relevant. And this looks like a double rounded bottom. Yep, so we've got a double bottom that's developing here. I've always found uh, Ripple incredibly hard to time uh, my entries into because it does just explode out of nowhere. So this time around, I am looking to dabble in a little bit of Ripple. I'm looking to to uh, get some of it on, on the books because I think that we could get a proper lift off you know, any time from now. Um, and look, again, we may have to wait. I'm, I'm not going to um, put a put my finger or my head on the block about when this is going to happen. But um, all in all, the conditions are looking good for Ripple uh, with this double bottom and the contraction of volatility, which is really important. So it's got a lot of potential to move with that explosive force that we that Ripple's come to be um, recognized by. And uh, then I see you've got Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin Satoshi Vision there. Yep. Um, any particular reason why you have those charts up? Oh, that's number four and five on the altcoin market cap. Okay, to, so to, okay, to so fair. With. So what we're doing is we're going through the top ten. Yeah. Okay. Um, I didn't. I didn't even click. <laughs> Icon did kick us off, yeah. which is the the, the the black sheep. Obviously, right. we slipped that one in there. Sure. But yeah, we we're running through essentially the top ten. Right. Points. So what are you seeing on BCH? So BCH um, has moved nicely already. Um, we did have, uh, if you look on the longer term chart, what we call an Adam and Eve bottom. So we had a, a triangular bottom. Uh, very volatile uh, up, uh, downward leg followed by an upward leg and now we've had the, the long rounded bottom so all in all looking looking really good uh, we had a nice move from the bottom levels uh, from the end of last year uh, we're now getting some consolidation but I think the odds are that we move to the top side of this consolidation and this run continues oh, so, wow. okay. so, so Bitcoin cash is looking good uh, BSV not as good well, yeah, so BSV did move with uh, a great deal of force uh, from Christmas last year to its highs. We went up you know, almost 275%, mm. so it really has done well. I, I just don't see this as a, as a buy and hold type of coin. I think there are opportunities to trade it in the short term. Um, I was quite bullish on it last time we spoke when it looked like we were setting up a, a symmetrical triangle, but the more I look at it and the more that things progress, it's looking more like a, a descending triangle, which is bearish. Okay. okay so it looks like for, for me, the high probability outcome here is that we break to the downside of the support structure that we're testing and we're getting um, consist consistently lower highs on the top side. So um, I'm going to stay away from uh, BSV right now. All right. EOS. So EOS is interesting because here we've essentially got the inverse of what's happening on uh, BSV. So I'm just going to go out quickly to the daily chart so we can put everything in uh, perspective and compare apples with apples. So again, we've got this rounded bottom. We do have this resistance trend line where we perhaps will get some, uh, some resistance if we do break to the upside of this current structure. But nice rounded bottom. We move really strongly um, from the start of the year. So January is really good for EOS. Um, and in uh, contrast to BSV, we've got a, an ascending triangle with a flat top. Yes. Okay, so it looks like we're wanting to push through that resistance. We're getting lower highs. So yeah, really on the flip side to BSV, I like the look of this one. We, um, I expect to get some potential resistance at this, um, this trend line, but 
I don't see any reason why we can't push to the upside there uh, if the old coin party really does get moving. Okay, and this this line here is obviously the flagpole. That's the flagpole, yeah. That. Right, so your target so could be, be around target. here yeah. with the, this trend line being a significant resistance. Okay, yeah. we're running out of time. How fast can you get through <laughs> LTC? So more of the same here with LTC. This is a really long term level of significance for Litecoin, but we've got a bit of a rounded bottom. If we move we to the upside that resistance here. resistance there again, yeah. Yeah, Litecoin is going to move if we can get out of this. Uh, BNB is the one that I don't like as much. Um, I think it's still a hold. Again, if you're a long-term BNB holder, we've got lower, uh, we've got higher lows and higher highs. Okay, but doesn't have the same kind of upside potential as some of the others. Sure. Specifically because, because it hasn't been crushed <laughs> as badly. <laughs> yeah. The some of the over the over the bear market, Ada is is looking very good. It's similar to the XRP chart almost. Uh, I think it's similar to the the Icon, the right. ICX. So look at how similar those two charts are. Yes. The difference here is that we've caught it before it potentially moons. Right. So I really like the look of Ada. It looks like a, a, a lift off is imminent. So yeah, I'm looking to to buy some Ada. And chain link, and then chain link is very different. So this is the one chart that looks well, along with BNB, looks looks quite different. It's in a, an existing bull run uh, measured against Bitcoin. We've got higher lows consistently happening. Uh, here's the level of resistance that we're now running into. But again, if the old coin uh, party moves forward, we're going to break through this uh, resistance and move to the upside. So I think Chainlink is a solid bet. Okay. Well, Graham, thanks so much. Uh, a real nice overall view of where the altcoin market sits. Yeah. Uh, and again, a big one for you is the fact, and we, we spoke about this off camera, is you're not too worried about the Bitcoin price flying up to $10,000. For you, it's just mm. a case of that Bitcoin dominance chart is what you're looking at. That's, that's the real barometer when okay. you're measuring the, the, you know, the old coin market. So specifically in if this Bitcoin. changes, then you'll change your outlook. But for now, this is looking bearish. Therefore, uh, we, go, we should see the Bitcoin dominance decrease, which in essence means that the altcoin uh, market cap will increase. 100%. Okay, so there we go. That is a very nice summarized overview of where we sit as things stands right now uh, in the altcoin markets. Um, it's looking exciting. For the first time in a long time, we can start to say that the altcoin party is warming up. It's warming up. It's warming <laughs> it's up. It's in its infancy, hopefully. And hopefully it matures and, and yeah, we can obviously get aboard that uh, the rocket ship. Yeah, well, there's a couple of charts there that do look tasty indeed. There we go, folks. This edition proudly sponsored by Altcoin Trader. Check them out in the YouTube and the podcast description, or you can visit them direct, altcointrader.co.za. Buy up to 23 digital tokens with your South African rands. From myself, James Preston. And myself, Graham Tennant. It's goodbye for now. Cheers for now. SA Crypto is not a registered financial advisory, and the information provided in this market analysis is for informational purposes only. Each audience member is responsible for their own financial decisions, and SA Crypto cannot be held responsible for any decisions made by those within its audience. SA Crypto strongly encourages all audience members to consult a professional and registered financial advisor before making any financial decisions.